it's me again, it and I get the win. Anyway, I thought I would have a look at the color of the year. Now, I don't know when they started doing this, but we had Pantone picking a color of the year, apparently for a little while now. I'll have to go look that up at some point. And this year, they have decided that the color of the year is Living Coral. And let me tell you, that is an absolutely gorgeous color that they have picked. I'm going to try and remember to stick a picture up here from the Pantone site. They've got a beautiful, beautiful image of live coral and it is beautiful now we all know that i tend to do things on a pretty stiff budget but even on a pretty stiff budget you can manage to find some wonderful examples of coral especially this bright vibrant coral that they have decided on for this year. Now, the eye look that I'm currently wearing has got a version of that bright, vibrant coral. And I picked it up right here. This is one of my little drugstore palettes. No, really, a drugstore palette. This is Koki which is one of the Korean style. Um, Koki actually, come, there's an elephant on it because that's what they call elephants is Koki. And this is the Peachy Queen palette. Now, some of these colors look a little, you know, this one looks like a darker matte version of that live coral. And then this is one that's a shimmer. I combine them up, I've got them under the eye, I've got them on top of the eye, and then I got up it and put a little green along with this peachy pink. Um, coral is kind of sometimes a little bit hard to distinguish when you're looking because there are so many of the colors that no matter what the actual color is, it'll look coral, like this one. And according to Wet n Wild, this is pearlescent pink. And it's like, no, it's coral. <laughs> and when I went looking for some other coral to play with, the closest I found on my little shopping spree at the Dollar Tree is Beauty Benefit. And this is one of their liquid lipsticks. Now, Beauty Benefit Hollywood apparently had some other outlets prior, but they're now at Dollar Tree. And I found it on um, Amazon. This color is an absolutely gorgeous coral. Beautiful, very similar to the bright coral that they use in the photograph from Pantone. However, according to Beauty Benefit, this is papaya. So don't necessarily worry about what the color name says on a jar or on a lipstick. If it looks to you like it's coral and it looks to you like it's the color you're looking for, call it coral and go, go along with yourself. Now, three of the other things that I picked up looking for corals, I picked... Let's see, this is a Julie G that I picked up at the Rite Aid 
on. 75% off. Thank you very much for clearance. Um, this one, let's see. This one says sound the alarm. Now on here, it's looking a little more bright orange than it did in the store. But in the store, it looked very much as a very vibrant coral. Can't help what my camera does to things. It's not perfect. And then, again, being at Dollar Tree, I just had to help myself. There was some LA colors that, looking at them in the store, this is number 91. And this one's kind of a less vibrant version of that coral. And then this is 534. And let me tell you, in person, this is a very, very vibrant version of that coral shade. Now, these two, you know, nail lacquers, finding them at the Dollar Tree is always a gracious goodness. I mean, you find stuff there that you can get away with some fierce, and they're great colors. I mean, for a dollar, who's going to argue? Again, I got the, the beauty benefit Hollywood from Dollar Tree. I've now seen it on Amazon, because when I came home, I looked at See, to see where I could find, you know, information on the product, and it showed up as on Amazon. So I may, since Dollar Tree's not real good at doing individual colors and that kind of thing in their adverts, I may put the Amazon up, but I'm going to remind you again, I got it at Dollar Tree. It's a beautiful color. It's not terribly bright on my mouth, but hey, it probably has something to do with the slightly brown lip um, liner that I put on. Now, the um, greens that I've got on my eyes, LA Colors, at the Dollar Tree, da, da, da. really nice set of blues and bluey greens and greeny greens and that little olive up in the top. This palette is called Lucky. Waha. I wonder if they're trying to make a thing about the, the, the greens. I don't know. It's like just because green is, you know, shamrocks and yada, yada, yada. I don't know why it necessarily is lucky other than I'm very happy that it worked for me. And that's pretty lucky. Um, while I was there, I also picked up another one, and this one is more blues and purples with a little green tint to it. This one's called Fling, and also, again, very, very pretty. So if you're looking for some other bright colors to go with the coral, kind of like I got... I found the, the Pantone picture with the living coral on it, and then I found another picture of other living coral, which has got some of that, that beautiful, quote-unquote, orangey coral shade, but it's also got a lot of the other living coral colors, the greens, the blues, the yellows. And I put them both together for the title page on this, because you're not restricted to just that one color. Just because it's the color of the year doesn't mean you can't put something else with it. Now, this particular eye look that I've got on is a colorful version of the one I had on in my empties, which is a technique that Wayne Goss was t um, teaching on one of his videos for doing colorful eye looks when you've got hooded eyes. Now, the first one I put on was just a plain brown because that's usually what people think of 
And he pointed this out, that is usually what people think of when they talk about doing a look for veneer dies, because it's easy to work with. It recedes, it does, you know, it gets into those hooded areas so that you're not showing that hood and losing all of your color whenever you close your eye. Well, open your eyes wide. And what he did was he started off with the brown version on and then took all that off and picked out three colors. Just three. He used a teal green under the eye and a sienna orange on the lid and then used a gorgeous deep blue to do the outer area so that it looked like a wing and it was beautiful and i said hmm, you know self we need to get ourselves together and do that i'm going to do it do a show and tell on this one coming up. Not right this minute, but coming up. I want to practice it a few more times. God knows if I've got his name attached to it and stuff, somebody may actually tell him that this crazy old lady has, has been doing his eye stuff. And I'm going, yeah, I want it to at least look half decent if he comes to look to see if I'm doing it right. <laughs> like that's going to happen. <laughs> anyway. I did not spend tons of money to get this stuff, okay, to get these colors. The Koki palette I've had for a while. I've had this for quite a while. It was 12 bucks at the Rite Aid. I've still got it. I love it. It works well. I've had this one a while, this Wet n Wild. Blush. Now, some people may not like this blush because it's got some shimmer in it. Up to you. But I've had this a while. And it was on sale when I got it. So, I didn't even pay full price for Wet n Wild by a new one. And no, that one was not at Dollar Tree. It was at a different discount store. And then, it's like, these are the, the the new things, okay, when it came to looking for stuff for the coral. Four products, four bucks. I'm not complaining. So, yeah, that particular little shopping spree. I mean, this was 75% off at the right and so, yeah, it was, you know, might as well have found it at the Dollar Tree. But, I did not have to go out of my way or out of my budget to find material to work with to do this look. Don't look at the fingernails. I've been trying to get the red polish off so I can do the coral. <laughs> yeah, the red's fighting with me. What can I say? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I had fun doing it. I love playing with my colors. I really do. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you want to see more stuff anyway. And if you subscribe and actually want to know when I put more stuff up, ring the little bell. Hit the bell icon. And wherever you are in the world, day or night, I hope you're having a good one. And, as always, be good. <laughs>